All right, here I am installing a Postec solar charger. Now, I sped the video up, but all together this took me about five minutes to hook up. Now, I just cleaned the surface off. You can glue this on, screw it on, or bolt it on. I'm choosing to glue it on, so I got one of the nice clean surface for my glue to stick to. And the glue I'm using is actually a tape. It's made by 3M Products. It's a VHB tape. It's a really heavy duty material. They use it to glue the semi screwless and screwless sides on on a lot of the enclosed trailers. Now the solar charger I'm using is made by Postec. They do a 3 watt, 7 watt, and a 12 watt version. This will be the 7 watt that we're installing on this one today. I use a lot of their chargers on my personal products. I have some on my boats. I have one on every one of my forklifts. They come in handy and they work really well. The cable for this charger is 17 foot long, so if you need to install it farther away from your battery, you've got plenty of cable to do so. Now there's three pieces to this charger. You have the solar panel itself, and then you have the part that hooks to the battery, and then the control unit, which can be separated from either piece. Now just hook it to the hot and negative terminals on your battery, red to red, black to black, Tighten everything down and then I put the other two pieces on. Now they use quick connects, so all you gotta do is push them on. They are kind of a tight fit, but they still go on. Now you can run your wires and then the control box does have screw holes to where you can mount it if you'd like to. But with my forklifts, I've never mounted the box, no problems out of it. They just sit right there on top of the battery. I have them zip tied up. 